God bless you. Caught me on off guard. Here I am. Do you have a minute just to stop and pause and to listen and to learn a few things about the Word of God and how to apply it in your everyday life? It's time to take five. Glad you joined me today. Hmm. Today's the Sabbath. You know, Sunday best. Listening to the Word of God. Going to Mass. The peasant preached today. I love what he talked about. He talked about the fact that who's sleeping? And I just talked about last week myself. Who's sleeping? Are you awake and ready? Because it's getting time for men and women to rise up and that's the call of God to tell the world that the good news is here. Jesus is Lord. You should be telling them all along, like every day. <laughs> like, by the way, half the world is sleeping. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Christian brothers, Christian sisters, wake up because God is coming one day soon. Soon and very soon. You know, the day and the hour we know not, but the time and the season we will know. What season is it in your heart? Mine is springtime. I'm planting and I'm reaping and I'm sowing and I'm pruning because it's a springtime ahead for the body of Christ. Where seeds you have planted long ago were, were left barren, they're going to start to rise. They're going to rise up and answer the call themselves. Where seeds that you had had a sleep, they're going to be watered with the Word of God because it's a new springtime. Spring is coming. I love springtime in Augusta. It's pretty much my favorite season here in Augusta, Georgia. Spring and fall because summer is too hot and winter is too cold and spring is just like in the middle. So what season are you in and what are you doing in your season? We have a lot to do. You know, sometimes in life you, you have seasons that things go smooth, clear sailing ahead. And other times in life there's storms brewing. But right now God is opening doors for those who have studied the Word of God have guarded their tongue with a disciple's tongue and learned to speak out what he's telling you in the in the quiet time, speaking to the rooftop. He's opening doors that have never been opened before, and he's closing doors that he does not want you to walk in. He's arranging people in spots. You know, like, where is your spot? Where are you supposed to be? People are moving around and finding where God is calling them. Why? That's where you need to be for the gifts you have, and for the purpose he has set forth in your life. It's like no other before, a time of many people moving and going and finding and find their spot. So make room, body of Christ. If someone comes to your church, welcome them. God sent them. They have a purpose. They have to do what they're called to do. Body of Christ, if you go to a church and they're called to do, ask the Lord where to be. And if it's not the right place, you move to the place where your gifts are used and where you're able to Plant the seeds of the Word of God and to, to live out the gospel with brothers and sisters who love you. Judgment is big in the body of Christ. Judgment is in. <laughs> you have to listen and listen for the word of the Lord. And if it's judgment strikes and knocks on your door, guess what? That's not where you need to be. you got to say it like this. Whoop. If you have to change your whole personality for someone to like you, they, they're not worth the friendship. So right now, body of Christ, wake up. Speak out, plant seeds, listen and grow. And if you're sleeping, ask someone to wake you up. God has his ways of waking you up. Is you excited about the word of God and the purpose that it has in your life? What is what are Deacon Pat and I doing? We're doing a lot of media. We're doing a lot of speaking out. We're doing a lot of, of time in the word. And we're doing a lot of time in prayer. My prayer time comes in the middle of the night. People think I chose that. No, God chose it for me. Other times I pray first thing in the morning, and then I, I speak out what God has said in my quiet time. Today we were at church, and like I said, it was a very, very lovely Palm Sunday um, Mass, and tonight we're having a concert, like a concert for the people of God. It's going to be a, a Mozart. I'm very excited about that. But in the midst of that, um, look around to your left and to your right and see who you are supposed to reach out to. And then just as much as you reach out in love to one another, make sure your heart's open to receive the love given because otherwise someone's sleeping. God is, says, love is of God and those who love are God because God is love. The time is coming soon where you need to know who is walking the same path as you and who has your back. 
It's been said over and over again. Listen for the voice of the Lord. And in your mind, wait and hear if that's someone you could trust or not because the time is growing. It's growing sooner and sooner. You know, God may come today. He may come in 2,000 more years. But you know what? Those who are waiting and watching, those virgins with the oil, they're going to easily hear his voice. And when he calls your name, you're going to say, Here I am, Lord. I've come to do your will. I say the messages sometimes over and over again, the same one. Why? They're important. <laughs> if you read the word of God at all, God has ways of saying three times something like, Be not afraid. Be not afraid. I always go like, Now I'm afraid. Because you know what? God is trying to warn your people where to be, where not to be, what to do, what not to do. And, and you know, the babies need some holding and loving. Then the mature ones need to speak out, and you need to open that door and make room for them. And the ones in the middle, some say speak out, and some say get, get loved up and taught. So we are all in the same boat trying to grow our hearts into the image and likeness of Christ and go where he calls us and do what he calls us to do. So, today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. I enjoyed our five-minute talk. So, thank you for taking a minute with me, or two or three, or four or five. And thank you for every day tuning in to take five. Because you know what? I know some of y'all are listening. I hope you're putting those seeds that I plant into practice. Because today is the day the Lord has made. Tomorrow may be too late. <laughs> Have a good one and enjoy the weather. Sunshine is coming.